This is James from Gamefront with a Crisis 3 quick look at the console commands. In order to open up the console, you're going to hit the tilde button, which is just below the escape button and just above the tab button. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to turn off the HUD. In the console, you're going to write HUD underscore hide space 1. This will turn it on. 1 means on, 0 means off. It's binary. I know it sounds confusing because we're turning on hide HUD, but trust me. Uh, a nice little shortcut is if you tap up in the screen, it will it will say it will go through a list of all the things you've typed in. So I pushed up, deleted the one, changed it to a zero, which uh, makes it a little quicker. Hide HUD. Uh, now I'm going to show you something else that if you're taking pictures, you can write R underscore draw near F O V, and then if you enter two, it will make your hands disappear, your gun disappear. So at this point, you have a pretty clear view of the screen. If you wanted to take any screenshots, this would be a great way to do it. Look at these flowers. I could be a National Geographic photographer. All right, that being done, let's turn it back. Uh, let me show you the other thing. If you put draw one, it comes back. But if you put down draw um, zero, let me show you what happens really quick. If I draw near and then hit zero, it's going to make some of my arms disappear and some of my gun, if I'm holding my gun, disappear. Is there an advantage to that? I don't think so. I can't find any, but I just wanted to let you see what I saw. Uh, so now I'm going to bring it back to normal, which is one. Next thing I'm going to show you how to do is change the field of view. So you're going to hit CL underscore FOV and then just hit enter and you'll see the default is 55 now if you press space you can go all the way up to 80 which is the maximum or all the way down to 20 which is the mi or actually it's 25 now that I think about it uh, so this is this is the wide field of view um, I'm not gonna tell you whether it's a good thing or bad thing I feel like it distorts things a little bit but it does give you a better perception of what's around you I feel like it's kind of like uh, takes away some of the tunnel vision feeling now, I put in 20, but 25 is the closest. Now, this is ridiculous. It's, it's actually, to me, funny um, with your gun this close. When you aim, it seems to go back to uh, a normal-looking gun, but otherwise I feel like my gun is right up next to my temple. Um, but we're going to bring it back to 55, which is normal. I'm pretty happy with this field of view. I don't know if you wanted to tweak it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, CL underscore Bob HUD. And in order to... i got to turn the HUD... Uh, visible again so let me do that really quick uh, so there it is so what happens in crisis 3 is they have this effect where the HUD bobs up and down ever so slightly to make you feel like it's uh, almost like organically connected to your helmet I I'm not sure what they're trying to get across but it's a very gentle bob when you go back and forth this is the HUD on uh, tw uh, 2 default is 1 so 2 makes it a very small change let's see what happens with 20 All right. Now this makes it ridiculous. Like, you wouldn't be able to barely... If you had somebody over at your house and didn't tell me you did this, it might be kind of funny to just be like, I don't know what your problem is. That's just the HUD of a game. But I think that the more likely thing that you would want to do is put it down to zero. Because if you put it to zero, it won't bob at all. Uh, and I would say that if there was something you were looking to change for an actual advantage, I don't know what you'd get out of it. Zero would be the only one that would make it better. Uh, no bobbing at all. Next up, we're going to change the frame rate. So we're going to type SYS underscore max FPS. And then just hit enter. It says zero is the max frame per second. That's not true. Zero actually means unlimited. But if we put a space in, we can do, let's do a couple different tests here. If we change it to 10, you'll notice that everything slows down. And full disclosure, I am using Bandicam, so I'm not getting much more than 45 frames per second uh, while I'm recording this. But you can definitely see the difference with 10. Let's drop it even a little further to 5 so that there's a drastic improvement when I go up to the higher frame rate. See how slow this makes it? Now, an advantage that you could have is if you don't want uh, it to change in quality, you might be able to change it to 30 frames per second. For myself, 30 frames it doesn't bother me. So if I wanted to make it so that my system wasn't uh, bogged down by the frame rate, I could just make it a solid 30 or a 60, um, which I feel like, I might be wrong. People might hate me. I can't tell the difference above 60. I, I can't I can't tell the difference. I'm sure there's a lot of people screaming right now. Uh, now I'm putting it back to zero, even though I can't get more than 45 while I'm doing Bandicam anyhow. I don't want to forget later. 
The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the sharpness. There's a lot more listed on Gamefront.com, so you can get a full list of the commands. But here we are, R underscore sharpening, and then let's just hit 8. The default is 0.25. All right, so now let's see what happens if we make it a 0.5. Uh, it's hard for me to tell the difference between the 0.5 and the 0.25, but I'm sure to a trained keen eye you can see the difference here. Um, but for people like me, I'm going to make it a lot easier to see what's happening here by using drastic numbers. Uh, one is a little sharper. I'm starting to see a change here. I'm starting to see a change, but let's make it 10. That's a huge difference. Now, there's going to be some artifacting if you make it this sharp. Uh, I don't suggest using it this sharp because it looks ugly. Um, the other direction we could take it is going below 0.25. Let's see 0.25 again. It's nice and soft. Um, it's very forgiving to have it that soft. But what happens if we do it at 0.1? Uh, it gets a little bit softer. So let's keep it at 0.25 because that's default. And I'm a default kind of guy. I'm okay with it. One last reminder, there's a full console command list on Gamefront.com. You should go and tweak with all the different things. There's so much more than I've shown, and honestly, a lot of it I don't understand. So prove your smartness to yourself and check it out and do some tweaking. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, that's one way to do it. With the intention of destroying... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, I thought I was on an edge there. <laughs> I was, like, freaking out for no reason! I wasn't even high enough!